Hey, Simon here. Solomon's Tales, number whatever it is. <laughs> so Solomon and Kay, they've eaten. She left a rucksack in his room, happy to spend the day with him. He, he, as I said before, this was the hedonistic holiday to get Thailand out of his system totally. And here he is just eaten with Kay, who's a freelancer. Um, they've had a hedonistic night at the Excite Club, nightclub. He ended up in a room with all those girls. He's gone back to his room, him and Kay of aerobics. It's been great. She's different, she's special. Not met a girl like her. She's not talking money, she's not asking for money, even though he's given her 3,000 baht. But that was because she bought all the whiskey and stuff as well. Really lovely girl. Just, just the way she has her hair and the way she dresses. She, she doesn't seem like a normal freelancer of what he perceives to be a freelancer. Um, yeah, really good. So they finished food. They have a walk around the shopping centre there, head down towards the beach, sit on the wall, <laughs> beach road again, <laughs> sit on the wall, down by the beach, contemplating life, and they get to know each other a bit. Now, to move Solomon's tales on a little bit, rather than going into all the details of every day, for the next rest of his holiday. He has clicked with Kay. She's different each day, each night. Many, many aerobic sessions, tender, different. Everything just clicks. It's like he's found a girlfriend that's, I mean, he met her in the bamboo bar. He didn't pay a bar fine. She didn't ask him for money that first night. In fact, she hasn't asked him for any money at all. And she stuck with him day after day after day. It's absolutely brilliant. He's fallen for him. He's fallen, fallen, falling for this girl. She's just great. He just wishes that maybe she was back in his own country and they just really hit it off really really get on so well they click they have fun together more like friend mates and, you know sort of boyfriend girlfriend brother but she's not asked him for any money not asked him for anything at all just having fun together and in the evenings they've wandered in a walking street he's even took her in go-go bars with him and they've gone and she loves it you know Got a little bit merry in the nights. Someone decided to cut a tree down. Annoying. It isn't bad enough with the airplanes. <laughs> yeah, they're just brilliant. But this is this is not good news. Solomon getting Thailand out of his out of his head. He wanted to finish Thailand and not come back again. But now he's falling for this girl. Oh, well, end of the week comes. Very quickly. He spent all week with her. And he says to Kay, I've got to go back to the UK. Um, that's my holiday finished. And I had no plans on coming back to Thailand. Very sad. Kay's sort of getting, getting to like him a lot. But she's fine, she's, I understand, she says, it's not a problem. Maybe we can keep in touch. And she gives him an email address. And she says to him, can, are you going to Bangkok? He says, I'm gonna to go to Bangkok for the last night and then fly the next morning. She says, would you like me to come to Bangkok with you? Um, maybe I'll come to the airport in the morning with you. And he's, yeah, fool. Fool, don't do it. 
Remember, he knows everything. Nah. They finished with their taxi up to Bangkok. He, <laughs> he's got a hurt. Was it Dynasty Hotel or whatever it was? Back in Bangkok, he didn't think of this one through. He could have had a night, hedonistic night in Bangkok for his last night. He could have gone back to the Eden Club. He could have so many things, but what's he do? He takes a freelancer from Patea back to Bangkok. Dynasty Hotel, Soy 4, next to Nana. <gasps> That's crazy. You know, he'd seen a few girls there, he might bump into them. Oh, it wasn't clever. But they get up to Bangkok. Anyway, he's got to get some clothes, some presents to take back to the UK lunchtime when they get up to Bangkok and him and Kay walk around goes to different places buys different bits and pieces and he's bought Kay a couple of items as well again she hasn't asked for money the evening after aerobics he takes her to Nana <laughs> he takes oh, she loves it she knows the area but Anyway, they go to Nana and they go to a couple of the bars, play a couple of games of pool, hotel, aerobics, last night, morning comes, packs his stuff up. Kay says, I'll come to the airport with you and then I'll go from there, off down, back down to Pateo. Brilliant, okay. So, checks out the hotel, into a taxi, up to the airport, departures. Pulls his case out, okay, walk into departures, checks his case in, check in desk. The next place he's got to go is through security, so that's it. It's as far as Kay can go. So they go across to the corner, there's some coffee shops there in the front part. Sit and have a coffee. He's now feeling guilty. And Kay's looking a little sad. It's as if they have become boyfriend and girlfriend, but he hasn't meant to. But that was the mistake of spending five, six days together. Never learned. Anyway, yeah, the time come, he's got to go. He's feeling guilty, he's thinking, right, she's not asked me for money. And he says to her, look, um, you've not asked me for any money this week, and now you've got to go back to Patea, which is a taxi. Um, I'll give you some money. Okay, he's like, okay. I have money, so it's not a problem. He does a calculation in his head. He thinks, I'm going to go home, feel better if I feel like I've paid her for her time. Six days, six nights, thousand baht a day, two thousand baht a day. Taxi back to Patea, thousand baht thereabouts. So does he give her six, seven thousand, or does he give her twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand? Pillock, he is, gives him twenty, gives her twenty thousand bars. It's back when the exchange rate was high, but twenty thousand bar. He still had, he had about fifty thousand bar in cash still. He gives her twenty thousand bar, and she's like over the moon. Absolutely. Are you sure? You know, she says all the right things. Her eyes light up. 20,000 baht. Kay, you've been amazing this week. We've had a great time. I'll keep in touch. Brilliant. 20,000 baht. Say goodbyes. Off he goes through. Kay, into a taxi. Nah. Just get that. Um, on the bus outside, back to a station, and then gets the bus back to Patea. Save money. <laughs> He's through, off, flies home, lands, get back to home. For the next, that's it. He's left Thailand. Has he got it out of his head? For the next two months, every day they speak. Him and Kay by email. Um, chatting away Kay saying 
all the right things but then she's just dropping a couple of mistakes but she starts to say things like she's actually not been with customers she's thinking of him more she's feelings for him she's got the money because she's not working is there any chance he could maybe send her a little bit of money now Solomon he knew the score with girls the stories he didn't want to go down that path she was very convincing so he, he, he said no to her he kept saying no he said I'm not going to send money I really even though I've got feelings for you and everything I'm, 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 I can't send money and he gave her the excuse that he's a bit short at the moment and she laid off a bit for a couple of days and then it would come up again but then the calls every time he was emailing her or phoning the calls she wasn't answering all the calls she, you know, she was back with customers and for some weird reason this made him a little bit angry because in his head he sort of thinks now she's his girlfriend but she's not he's got Thailand out of his head he's supposed to but he hasn't now he's sort of fallen for a freelancer a bit they talk this, again it's sporadic some, some days they'll talk some days they won't emails back and forwards and he was sort of getting a bit angry with the situation he was getting a little bit angry with her and then she regularly starts asking for money and saying she's not working but he's thinking she's not answering the phone the email she is working he keeps saying to himself she's a freelancer what am i doing what's happening but he, he it's the distance he sort of got this dream woman in his head even though she's not he thinks that dream woman could be wife no 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 they start having a few arguments and more arguments and in the end he he just explodes on her and she's asked again for money and he's like no that's it finish end put his phone down emails start coming from her and sorry 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 and he's like no, I'm not going to respond, that is it. And he goes back about his business. And he doesn't respond for two weeks. Then he starts responding again. Oh, mistake again. And she's, they start again talking. But then again, she's money, money, money. He's like, what am I doing? He agrees to send her 2,000 baht, which isn't a huge amount, but it's money. Why would he send her money after all the arguments? She's working, sure she is, and he's going to send her a couple of thousand baht. Oh. Bad, not good, not good at all. A couple of weeks down the line. The arguments start again, money requests, and that's it, he says, no more, that's it, he finishes, he says, I can't believe it, I got tangled up with a girl and I sent her some money, finishes it there and then, that's it, done, end of story with her, with Kate, he never contacts her again, by email, doesn't speak to her again, over the phone, and he goes about his business, back to normal life. That is the end of Solomon's Tales, his hedonistic holiday. But will, did he get Thailand out of his system? Will he go back there? Who knows? <laughs> he almost fell for a freelancer. He sent her 2,000 baht. 
don't send money to bar girls it's unless you really know them and you know the whole score and you understand the system don't do it hmm I hope you enjoyed the Solomon's Tales. I enjoyed telling them. Um, and I'll see you on whatever the next story is. I'm not sure where we are at in time scales, so I won't say which names. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, share, like. I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.